going to be showing you guys a video of the official Cyanogen Mod 10 on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is, of course, one of the first phones to get it because it's a Nexus phone. So They've also released for the Galaxy S3, Nexus S, Nexus 7, Transformer Prime, and Transformer. Let's go into Settings. Let's go down to About Phone. And as you can see right here, we're running the official nightly from Cyan Engine mod. The eight, this is the 820. The first one they released, they released was 818 or 819. Um, but I just updated like five minutes ago. So Cyan Engine mod. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in a lot of other CM ROMs. You get the performance tweaks. If you go up here you get advanced you can mess with the color settings stuff like that then you can mess with the launcher you can mess with the grid size home screens default screen horizontal stuff if you don't want the search bar you can change that you can mess with the after and then you can have it auto rotate if you wanted to you can also mess with the lock screen this does come with face un unlock and it does work um, you can have a custom background just for the uh, lock screen and then have one for your um, home screen you can have info on the screen saying this is you know put your name here something like that this is your phone um, you can have weather if you don't want it in Celsius then uncheck metric let's go back you can have a calendar event and you can also choose the uh, slider shortcuts. So if you wanted maybe the uh, phone, then you, you can also change the icon to match. So if you go down to phone, then click OK, and you can see phones there. And then if you wanted maybe uh, music, say you wanted music over here. Again, you can change the icon. You don't have to, but just kind of make everything match a little bit better. Then hit OK. Then hit Save. And it says Lock Screen Shortcut Saved. Now when you go back and you lock it, and you unlock it, you can see we have our um, percentage and then the weather that just refreshed. And it's in Fahrenheit because we didn't check the metric. And then you also have your shortcuts. So you can go straight into phone. Or you can go straight into anything you put there. Um, this does come with theme manager, so any themes that you download and install, you can apply them there. And then you do get some system options, like in the status bar. You can change the little toggles. Let's go to status bar. You can show the clock, so if you don't want the clock, you can have your AM, PM. It's not, there we go. So you have to put it on a normal one first and then click small for it to show up. Or it may be just me. And then you can have the percentage next to the, oh, sorry. You can have percentage next to the battery. You can also have text for the signal indicator. And you can also show notification count. Let's go back. Notification drawer. You, this is where you can choose which uh, buttons are up there. So if you wanted to toggle mobile data, um and say lock screen now when you pull that down you have those options up there and then when you tap one like say G excuse me like say gps it turns it on and off um you can choose the order and let's go to power menu power menu is when you long press the power button in case you didn't know so if you click screenshot now when you long press you can take a screenshot or you can press and hold volume down and power button. That also works to take a screenshot. Um, you do get the Synergy Mod profiles. And that's pretty much it. Except for a few uh, Synergy Mod wallpapers. Sorry about that. But this is the official um, Cyan Engine Mod 10. This is the release from Cyan Engine Mod. It's it's available on their uh, website.
comes with Apollo Music Player, DSP Manager. I don't, I don't see File Manager. It usually has File Manager on there. Signage Mod Builds. It comes with Super User instead of Super SU, and it comes with ROM Manager. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to install this. If your ROM allows it, hit Reboot, then hit Recovery, and click OK. If it doesn't, just power off your phone then press and hold both volume keys and the power button at the same time until you get into the uh, bootloader then use uh, volume down and then you'll get into the uh, like until the recovery is up there and then just hit power it's the same thing as the way I'm doing it um, then go to wipe data factory reset and you're going to click yes then go to wipe cache click yes go to advanced go to wipe Dalvey cache and then click yes and go back install zip choose zip go to your download folder um, and then CM 10 820 2012 nightly um, there have been unofficial builds from the same person that makes the unofficial AOKP builds but just click the official nightly and click yes. Oh, I didn't mean to install that. <laughs> um, but it doesn't take long to install at all. But then when this is finished installing, you just want to go to um, you just want to go back to downloads, and you want to choose the uh, Jelly Bean G apps. The latest of this video are the 726 2012 G apps. So if you want the G apps, just install those. Um, Science Mod has like I I read that they improved like the camera where it's on autofocus all the time. I haven't really tried that out yet, but I I read that in a post on Google Plus. So and this is almost done installing. All right. Now when this is done, just go back to choose the, go back to downloads and go to your G apps, Jelly Bean 726. I'm just gonna go back, go back, go back and hit reboot system now. Um, they're using the uh, same boot animation from Sign Engine Mod 9. They haven't um, updated the uh, boot animation yet. Um, they sh should be updating that soon though, so. But as you see, it's the same boot animation from Signage and Mod 9. But I mean, it like it's still a really awesome boot animation. If they just put like 10 right there, it's it'd still be an awesome boot animation. But anyways, that was my review of Signage and Mod 10, the official nightly for the uh, GSM Galaxy Nexus.